Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Preschool Chapel. I'm so glad you joined us here today. I'm Pastor Glenn, and we're here in the chapel, and everybody's here except you. I'm so sorry you're not here, but I'm glad you're here on Facebook so you can watch and we can sing together and, and hear stories and pray together. It'll be wonderful. Good morning, Mrs. Seaver. I assume Olivia is with you. That would be awesome. It's so nice to see you. I hope you can hear me because you just never know with technology anymore. Yes, Olivia is there. Great. Hi, Liv. We'll wait for some other folks to join us as we get ready for chapel today. It's a beautiful day outside. A little bit of clouds, but not many. Good morning, Elaine. It's nice to see you. I hope you can hear me just fine, which is my, uh, my, my goal is to be able to be heard just fine. So, I, you know what? I'm going to tell you something while we're waiting for people to join us. Next week, we're going to go to Wednesday, which would be the normal, the normal pattern, but we're going to stay on Wednesday all the way through the summer. So we're going to be on Wednesdays for, for chapel. So we don't have to remember, is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday this week? I don't remember. It'll always be on Wednesday all the way through the summer. So you can join me here every Wednesday at 1045 for chapel. Hey, Kit. Welcome. Glad you're here today. Are you ready to start singing? We have five, seven people watching. I think that's enough to start singing. Let's sing our friend song. Are you ready? I want to be a friend of yours mm, and a little bit more. I want to be a pal of yours mm, and a little bit more. I want to be a little flower blooming at your I want to be your grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, sister, brother, mm, and a little bit more. Let's sing that again. Hi, Mrs. T. I want to be a friend of yours, mm, and a little bit more. Hi, Oliver and Walter. I want to be a friend, pal of yours, mm, and a little bit more. I want to be a little flower blooming at your door. I want to be your grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, sister, brother, mm, and a little bit more. Wonderful. Good job, everyone. I hear you singing. I hope you're also playing instruments, because I know some of you have instruments at home, like my friend here, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear, who happens to have a, a tambourine that he can play. He's not very good at it, though, but that's okay. You can play even if you're not really very good at it because we have other instruments here too, like this shaker, makes a nice sound, I like that. And my favorite of all instruments is this Irish drum. See it? Isn't that wonderful? Do you have instruments like that at home? Get them out and you can play them while we're singing. That would be awesome. Hi, Mrs. Whiskus, welcome. Let's sing, uh, no, let's pray first and then we'll come back and sing some more. Are you ready? Let's pray. Let's close our eyes, fold our hands, and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for our friends. Thank you for this beautiful day and wonderful day. Thank you for chapel. Thank you for our families. Thank you for keeping us safe. Watch over us today, God, and as we come together today to sing and to pray and to hear stories, uh, bless us with your presence and help us to feel your love today. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, happy Tuesday, everyone. Let's see, how about we sing, let's sing Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear's favorite song, the butterfly song. Are you ready? Let's do that. If I were a butterfly, thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and a giggle with me. Hi, Zach. But I just Thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Emily. If I were a wiggly worm, thank you, Lord, that I could squirm. Hi, Mrs. Flores. And if I were an octopus, thank you. And if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Let's see 
see some elephant ways now. If I were an elephant, thank you, Lord, for raising my trunk. And if I were a crocodile, thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Here we go, big finish. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Thank you, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear. That was awesome. Good morning, Mrs. Applin. Wow, That's, it's fun to sing with Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear, don't you think? He just showed up this morning. It's just amazing. He's, he just was here, and he wanted to be for, here for chapel. So uh, I'm glad you came, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear. Yeah, he's glad too. All right, let's sing. Let's see. Let's sing Jesus Loves You. Jesus loves me, and he loves you too. Let's sing it. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Thank you for singing that so nicely. Are you singing it with your families too? That's fun. When you can have your families around you and sing with you. Now, I know that there's some people who are with us who aren't on Facebook, and so I can't see their names. So sometimes I just like to say hello to people, and I've lost my slip of paper. So I'm going to ask Mrs. K if she knows of anyone who's watching who isn't on Facebook. Sometimes they uh, Uh-huh. Kaya, and Reese and Ian, Ian, if you're watching, hi. If you're not watching, hi, anyway. Maybe you can watch later when when it's recorded. That would be awesome. And anybody else who you'd like me to say hi to, if you can uh, just let us know that you're watching, then I can say hi to you because that's the only way I know you're watching is if I see you on the screen or if Mrs. K tells me you're watching. All right, we have a wonderful story today called... The Friend of Little Children, and it's on page 256 in this Bible. Try to get it right so you can see it. I hope you have this Bible at home. I know if you came, if you come to preschool, you have it because we give it to all of the children and all of the families. So open it up to page 256. Get comfortable. Are you comfortable, Fuzzy Wuzzy? All right, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear is comfortable. All right, here's the story, The Friend of Little Children, page 256. Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, am too. You ever heard arguments like that? This silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them best. What do you think is going to happen? But they had forgotten something something God had been teaching his people all through the years, that no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference, because God's love is a gift. And as anyone can tell you, the whole thing about a gift is, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and receive it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were the gift experts, 
had come to see Jesus. Who do you think it was? Who were they? They were the little children. Little children know about gifts. They're the gift experts. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? What do you think? Let's find out. Or would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your, and your chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms and so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart. Full of trust in God, be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. And there's Jesus with the children going around in circles. Does that look fun? Do you wish that you could do that with Jesus today? I do. I think that would be awesome. That's the story. That's it. Is that a good story? Did you like that? I like that story. It was fun. Running into Jesus' arms would be very much fun. Don't you think so, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear? He thinks so. That's good. Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear is an awesome bear, don't you think? I do. All right. Let's sing a song, shall we? Since we just learned how Jesus loves us, let's sing one, two, three. I like that song, too. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you've ever been loved before. It's a one, two, three. Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Five, six, seven. It's time to
we're all out of time now.